This is a scratch built jet I made from three pieces of Dollar Tree foam board. It has a 44 inch wingspan and is 33 inches long. I originally built this plane because my last plane had an unfortunate crash where I broke the propeller motor shaft and I wanted a plane where the motor was in the back so if I did crash it wouldn't break the motor. So I first tried out a design where I had it as a twin boom pusher plane and it didn't work because the thrust angle was too high above the center of mass. So I decided to build a fighter jet styled plane with the propeller right in the middle around the center of gravity and having a slot in the wing for the propeller to go through. Uh, this plane is using a Turnagee Park 480 850 kV motor with a 10 by 7 propeller. Uh, I have it hooked up to a 30 amp ESC and that is hooked up to a orange RX R620 6 channel receiver inside the fuselage. I'm using uh, four Turnagee 9018 metal geared servos. Powering this plane, I have a Turnagee 1800 milliamp hour three cell lithium polymer battery, which sits in the front of the plane. I got the idea for the nose on this plane from flight test Vigan plane, where it would collapse if they were to crash into the ground. So I built it as a separate piece that would just be taped onto the front of the plane, which would be flat. And even though I had that, I haven't had any crashes where it has come to work yet. The elevator on this plane is two and a half inches wide by 18 inches long. And that gives plenty of deflection for this plane. It can uh, flip upside down and pretty much turn on a dime and go the opposite direction. On the wing tips of this plane, I gave it some under camber to hopefully prevent it from tip stalling at slower speeds. And uh, I'm not sure if it actually works or not, but I haven't had it uh, tip stall at all, so I guess it probably is. For the hatch, I just used uh, some Velcro to hold it down. This plane has no landing gear, so I just belly land it on the grass when I can, and it hasn't affected the motor very much. Though one time I did crash it into a tree, and I think it may have messed up the motor because it made a lower pitch sound ever since. So thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe and like this video if you want and I'll see you next time.